I lost. <laughs> All right, I've got no intro today because we're gonna talk about something so stupid. We're gonna rant today, and we're gonna talk about maybe the worst decision in studio history. I swear to God, this is the dumbest thing I've ever witnessed in my life watching film or talking about film news. It's Dune Part 2. It's gotten delayed to March 14th, 2024 because the writers are and actors aren't getting paid. Warner Bros. won't pay them, so they're gonna delay their movie from November all the way to March. You know, let me just tell you, uh, this was my most anticipated movie of the year. It was gonna do so well at the Oscars, and now all my dreams just got crushed and ruined because it was gonna release like right after my birthday. I was gonna have such a great time, but now they're gonna delay it because they're just so dumb. Like, you had six weeks of IMAX just to yourselves in November and like no competition. Now you're moving it to March, and we're gonna get to what's coming out in March. Let me just tell you, it's a doozy. They sent Dune 2 to die. At this point, it's just not looking good. I don't know why they're doing this to Dune. It can't be just because the writer's strike. There has to be more going on. But this, I swear, this is like the dumbest decision in history I've ever seen. And it just makes me so mad and infuriated because of how, how dumb this decision is. Warner Bros. just can't do anything right, can they? You know, the only thing they can do right is release a Barbie movie, which they didn't even actually work on. It was Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach, Margot Robbie, and Ryan Gosling who made it the amazing film that it is. Warner Bros. did nothing for that movie, so their only win is because of Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach this year. But you know, they're not going to release Dune 2 this year, but they're going to release Aquaman 2. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is sticking to its December release, confirms Warner Brothers. Why in hell is this sticking to its release date and Dune is moving? You know, the only thing I can maybe say is because they're going to just send Aquaman to die because it's the last DC movie. They got to get it out of the way. Sure. But still, you could have just released that. Like, you could have moved that back to like October. Just release it there if you want it to die. Just release it on streaming only if you want it to die. Release it in January. Don't don't keep it in December and make Dune move. Dune should have moved to December, and you should have moved Aqu Aquaman to March so that could die there. Why are you Why are you moving? Oh my goodness! Why are you moving Dune? It just doesn't make sense. Aquaman is gonna fail in December. I really who I really hope Warner Bros. fails next year. And guess what? Wonka is also going to keep its December date, but they moved Dune Part 2. Timothy Chalamet, at least he gets a movie this year and doesn't have to wait till next year. But he gets Wonka, so good for him. I'll probably see it, but still, I won't support Warner Brothers. I, I just I just hate Warner Brothers. All my money is just... I'm just going to think all my money is going to Timothy Chalamet at this point. You know, I'll pay for the Warner Bros. movies, but I just will act like I'm not giving them money at that point. But let's talk about March 2024 and how much of a war zone it's looking like. So, as we said, June this year and March uh, this year, it was either March or June... And they all had too many movies, and guess what? Half of those movies flopped because there was just too much competition. A lot of general audiences don't have a lot of money to go see four movies a four movies a month, like like I can with the Regal Unlimited Pass that gives you like unlimited movies every month. A lot of people don't have that kind of cash floating around. You know, it's just a thing that's happened. You know, movies have gotten expensive. A lot of people can't take their families to four movies a month. But you know, March 2024, how many movies we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got like nine or ten movies now with with March. It's ridiculous. We got Elio, The Fall Guy, A Quiet Place Day 1, Kung Fu Panda 4, Dune Part 2, Snow White, Mickey 17, Ghostbusters sequel, and The Shift. This is obviously so ridiculous. Why do we need eight like eight or nine movies in March? Why? I've never seen a month this packed before in my life. All these movies, if they don't move, which I'm actually expecting a lot of them to move now, they're all going to flop if they don't move, I swear. No one is going to have that much money to go see eight movies or have that much time to go see that many movies. Like, it's hard for me to go see as many movies as I want to go see. Like, I've missed a couple the last month because I just haven't had the time. But Dune Part 2 now, I don't know if they're going to get all these weeks of IMAX that they were promised in November now that they got delayed because they were promised six months of IMAX like just being by themselves and now I don't know how many they're gonna get if they only get like two or three that's just gonna be horrible for them IMAX is what Dune was made for it's filmed all in IMAX the sound is booming bigger picture it's like if you compare the two Oppenheimer and Dune Part 2 are kind of the same because they're meant for IMAX of course they're not the same story but they're both meant for IMAX one upside of this whole situation 
would be Oppenheimer. Uh, if the Oscars stick to their current date and the deadline is the end of the year, Oppenheimer is going to sweep all the technical awards, cinematography, editing, visual effects, uh, score, uh, all those technical awards. It's only competition for technical was Dune Part 2, but now Dune Part 2 has moved. Oppenheimer is likely going to win all those awards. So good for Universal. You know, they're actually going to get some Oscars this year. But Warner Brothers still stands the dumbest studio with how they're handling DC and how they're handling all those films and how they're handling the strike without paying actors and writers and how they just handled Dune Part 2. I mean, I don't know how dumb you could be. Even with the strikes going on and no interviews, I think Dune Part 2 could have made so much money. The first one being in COVID, being released on streaming the same day and finished with like 400 million worldwide. This one could have made like 700 to 800, even without the actors interviewing. It's ridiculous how dumb this decision is. I just can't take it. Uh, I'm going to have to wait so long to see Dune Part 2 now. I... I don't know how I'm going to survive. I might just have to watch Dune Part 1 every day until Dune Part 2 comes up. It's just going to be an elite struggle. So uh, Warner Brothers, you're the dumbest studio of all time. Thank you very much.